here. I like this place. A lot of hippie bros. UCSB. I didn't know what those were before I came here. I grew up in Ohio. <laughs> yeah, we don't have hippie bros. All the hippies are old, like sickly, they don't feel well. <laughs> Still going, peace, man. Keep it up, my brother. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Uh, just that that's how diverse California is. There's like subcultures of white people that I just hadn't <laughs> never heard of. Them. I used to work at uh, the Isla Vista Food Co-op over there, and uh, got, like every day, people would come in like, "Bro, bro, do you guys have kombucha?" <laughs> <laughs> I used, to, I used to get depressed when I was younger, more, and now I get depressed less often. Hooray for me! <laughs> progress! Progress! And uh, my friends would have advice for me, and it was always like, a, just a different version of like, carpe diem. It's like, seize the day, man. Like, hey, I'll try. <laughs> so I'd try and give it my best shot. Set the alarm for... Uh, Early, 11 a.m. <laughs> the alarm would go off, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do it, man, I'm gonna seize the day. And, you know, some of you guys know you're depressed, you accidentally seize your dick. <laughs> and then you're like, while I'm here. <laughs> I should probably jerk off and smoke a bowl. <laughs> And I'll have to go back to sleep for another three or four hours. <laughs> See the day tomorrow. <laughs> I used to, some of you guys might have played this drinking game. Uh, it's called Get Wasted and Then Yell Obvious Shit at Perfect Strangers. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> We're having a party. <laughs> it's a good time. A lot of fun. I miss it. Uh, I, I drink a little bit less. You know, I'm talking about progress. A little bit less. Yeah. Uh, but I still like to play. Like, when I see somebody else doing it, I'll yell obvious shit, like, back at them. <laughs> like, make it a little bit weird. <laughs> Be like, uh, space is really big. <laughs> <laughs> The ocean's not a bunch of bananas. <laughs> you are hiding from your feelings and you peed yourself. <laughs> it's obvious shit. Yell back at him. I like to smoke weed, but sometimes it makes me paranoid. And if that's the case with you, don't smoke a huge blunt before you have to go through airport security. <laughs> And especially don't take a little-known hallucinogen known as AMT, too. <laughs> so I'm waiting, I get dropped off by my friend, and I start panicking already, like, what if that was acid and I didn't even know, and I just took like 10,000 hits of acid. <laughs> and my parents, who I'm meeting in San Francisco, are gonna find out that I am in a mental institution in Cleveland. <laughs> so this is my mindset while I'm smoking cigarettes rapidly in front of the entrance and one after another security goes by me just glaring at me just staring me down and I'm like oh fuck they know they know man and I turned around and there's a giant no smoking sign right behind where I'm standing <laughs> oh thank god so I go in the, uh, in the airport, and uh, this isn't the most climactic story I've ever told, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, if you ever take a hallucinogen, take mushrooms, you'll see Cleopatra in the sky, and then get a tattooed on your back, it's amazing. True story. <laughs> AMT, I looked at the clouds for an hour and a half and saw a shoe. <laughs> Can't get a shoe tattoo. Anyway, I'm Alex White, you guys have enjoyed the rest of the show. Have a good night. We're going for 10.